Hey guys, today you're going to start off by getting two worksheets. You're going to get these one with the houses on it. You're also going to get this blank worksheet. You need to put your name at the top of that blank one. You can see it says name. So Mr. Calvert, whatever class you're in, so 3 and A, B, or C. We are going to use this worksheet to draw out the design for our house. All right. This project's going to be kind of tough because like our Richard Serra project when we worked with lines, you might not be able to make your first design that you come up with. Some of you guys had some really complicated designs with Richard Serra and you had to problem solve once you started adding the actual lines to your final project. It's going to be kind of the same with this project. It's going to be very hard to do. So some of you might make some houses that are a little too complicated and you're going to have to problem solve and change them. But you're going to be drawing a house on this worksheet. Your house has to be this long. All right. So this is going to be the bottom of my house. It also cannot go any higher than this line. So the highest point of your house needs to touch this line. That just makes sure that it's going to fit on our piece of canvas or burlap later on. You can do one of the houses off here. You can change one up if you would like. It is up to you. All right. But I need to see a nice neat house. Use your ruler so that you get some nice edges. I might do All right, so I am all done with my drawing. You can see that I took my time and used a ruler to make sure all my lines are very straight. I didn't get too super complicated with it. All right, I didn't add any shingles to my house or any siding or anything like that. You're welcome to do one right off the worksheet, or you can kind of mix and match some parts of your houses too if you would like. Like if you like the door to one of these and you like a roof to another, you're welcome to do that as well. After you've drawn your house, you're going to bring it up and you're going to show it to me. After I have okayed it, then you're going to go up and you're going to get one piece of burlap from up front. There are three different colors. Then you're going to use some tape to tape off the edges. This part's kind of tricky, so I might need to help you. So I'm going to get a piece of tape that's the length of it. We're going to put half of it on my burlap. I'm going to fold the other half over. This is going to help keep my burlap from fraying. You don't want it to start coming undone. You can also trim up the edges if it's too long. Please be careful with the tape. Don't be wasteful with it. Stretching out a piece of tape. Putting about half of it on and then flipping it over. Right. The very last thing I need to do is I need to write my name somewhere along this tape so I know whose is whose. I will get out some Sharpies for you guys because they don't look like pencils are going to work very well. Mr. Calvert. Alright, so the very first thing you're doing is you're drawing a house. Then you need to get it okayed by me. Make sure to use your ruler so you get some nice straight edges. After you've gotten it okayed, you're going to go up and get a piece of burlap and you're going to tape off the edges. Remember, if you need help, either ask me or ask a friend who is also working on taping. After you have drawn your house and taped off your 
burlap as well as putting your name on it. If you do have some extra time, you're also welcome to go ahead and cut your house out. You need to do a super good job cutting it out because we're gonna have to trace around this next class. You're also gonna notice that you're cutting off your name so you have to rewrite your name on the back. Right. If you get this far, that's awesome. If you don't get it cut out today, that's fine too. We'll get them cut out next time. When you're done, make sure to start two separate piles up on the front counter. Make sure to have your name on the back of that house.